Is this your Lamborghini? Yeah. And what do you do for a living out in Las Vegas to be able to afford a Lamborghini? Uh, I trade full time and I'm an entrepreneur. And how long have you been a business owner for? For about four years now. Yeah. Over these four years, what's been the most amount of money that you've ever made in a single year? About 1.4, 1.5 million. 1.5 million? Yeah. How old were you when you became a millionaire? I made my first million when I was 21. 21 years that old? That was my first million, yeah. How did that happen? How did you make your first million at 21 years old? A lot of it came through trading. Now, I will say during that time in the market, it was really easy to make money. But I would say at the end of the day, I wasn't seven figures until I did delegate, right? You can't do it all yourself. Among yourself and the most highly successful people that you study and know, what is that one trait that they all have in common? You know, this may be an uncommon one, but a lot of successful people that I see are married. I got married really young. I was 20 years old when I got married. When you're married and you, you're not focused on everything outside, you're so focused. So I always tell uh, Shantae, that's my wife, I always told her, I said, you were a business decision. I loved you, like, don't get me wrong, but you were business too, because like, I was like, yo, I know myself, but if I'm focused and I'm not worried about anything else, I'm, I'm good. As a seven-figure entrepreneur, what's been the best financial advice that you've received throughout your career? I would say, number one, God has to be the foundation of everything. I had a conversation with a pastor, actually. He told me, say, hey, man, God has to be the center. And, you know, I felt at that certain time in my life, I was kind of veering away. And God always has a way of bringing you back. And number two is, you can't be upset at the things that come with asking God for stuff. You know, I asked God, hey, I want a seven-figure business. And he threw a bunch of lessons at me that I had to learn. I opened the Bible, Ephesians 3.20, lean not on your own understanding. From there, man, I've been rock solid.